Now it's time to invite our next guest, and he's a expert speaker from Bangladesh. And Mohammad Rahat Khan, he's a PhD research fellow at Jagannath University, Bangladesh, and also working as an assistant professor in management under the Department of Business Administration, City University, Bangladesh. His major research interests are strategic management and marketing, disruptive innovation, entrepreneurship development, as well as behavioral and psychological aspect of the business, which is very important. The biota, the, the profile is too big. Today's experts, all the experts are really having a good professional background uh, to save on time. I'll definitely get back to Mr. Khan for his presentation. Welcome, sir. I hope uh, you are well. Uh, am I audible, ma'am? Absolutely audible. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Uh, I really feel delighted to present with such a big platform, basically. And a special thanks to the Paroli University and also Mira Isnika Institution. And I am uh, grateful. I am showing my gratitude to Barola Shafi as well that he actually invited me for this particular program. So uh, let me start my presentation without killing any time. So may I share my screen, please? Sure, sir. Uh, is that visible, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, our today's topic. Basically, uh, I, I, I want to address some important issues regarding stress management. Basically, I try to address on the sources, consequences, and managing techniques of stress management, uh, even during this COVID situation or even though any type of situation. So this is about my short bio, actually, Madam told uh, something about me, so I would like to skip, skip this one. So my today's discussion outline is discussion outline is stress and stress management, then potential sources of stress, then consequences of stress, and then I will share a, a research actually I am doing on real life in, investigation on job stress and prob probable stress management techniques. So first of all, I'd like to explain what is stress. As per the community, the, the, the term stress is a really vague in literature. It is really difficult to define till now that what actually stress is. However, Griffin in his uh, Principles of Management book, all of you know this is a well-known book, he actually shared that a person's response to a strong stimulus, that is stress, and this stimulus basically creates something with actually affecting our behavioral or psychological state. Sale is a very ancient, uh, the very oldest definition that stress is the non-specific response of the body to any demand. Basically, it is a demand of our body. And in behavioral science, stress is regarded as the perception of threat, resulting anxiety, discomfort, emotional tension, and difficulty in adjustment. So that is all about the stress. Basically, the theme is that stress is basically some stimulus which actually affect in our regular work, which actually cause some psychological or physiological distortion in our regular work. So what is stress management? Stress management is nothing just a process. It should not be a one step, rather it should continue with some steps that acquiring and practicing a variety of cognitive and behavioral techniques to cope up with other such tough time or like we should manage this one or we should cope up with this one during this situation. That is some strategies we would take and we can consider this one stress management. So what are the potential sources of stress management? Stress? Uh, actually, I am from the business background. So I actually shout out two important sources are the potential source of stress. Number one is an organizational source, like uh, for what we are working for. Basically, this is originated from our work. We are affiliated for like, the bankers who are working in a bank, the bank would be a potential source of stress. Even we are working in university, so our working organization can be a uh, probable source of our stress. And other thing is our individual or personal task or personal role. Basically, it could be struck from our daily life activities, like someone actually get married, it could be actually being a stress for him or her, or even though someone is not a very good conjugal life, so he, he, he or she has decided to go for divorce, it could be also a stress. Even though some disease uh, from family members or even our own self could also be a source of stress, even some emotional problems as well. So here is the organizational stress source. Basically, I'm focusing on this one because organizations are really uh, responsible for particular things. Like uh, in case of organized stress, Griffin actually classified 
four probable sources of stress, like in our task. That means sometime we need to take a quick decision, even though in case of some decision, we don't have a proper information, but we need to take the decision and even critical decision. All of them are basically a task demand from the organization and it could be a give us a stress. Even some physical demand, like we are working in organization, temperature is fluctuating, that could be another important way, uh, source of stress, even poorly design of our office, even threat of our health, that could be also. In, in case of role demand, sometimes we feel a role conflict, like uh, being, being a, a teacher or being a, being a faculty member, sometimes few of my colleagues, maybe my family members, maybe my friends, so it could create a role conflict, like in which I will go, I, I should consider my friend or I should consider my working environment as a faculty member. So that could also give us a, a stress as well, even role ambiguity as well, that what actually I sorted out. And another important source is a team or group, like the, the group I am working for, sometimes may give us stress, like group pressure or even leadership or bossing style, conflict of personalities, that could also be a stress a sources from the organization. And then what could be the result of stress? Yeah, most of the literature actually focusing on stress could affect a negative uh, aspect, but I will share something positive here as well. But it is true that most of the consequences of stress is basically belong to the negative way. So what could be the negative thinking? Negative consequences may be some behavioral, psychological, and medical effect. Behaviorally, for example, stress may lead to the detrimental or harmful action, such as what actually earlier professor told that smoking, alcohol, drug abuse, or even harm to yourself or himself or itself, even stress into or even violence toward itself, what I said, even appetite disorder, substance abuse, everything could be a negative consequence of stress. And what would be the psychological consequences of stress? It can interfere with an individual mental and health well-being. Problem could be sleep disturbance, depression, family problem, or even the sexual dysfunction. And what could be the medical consequences? Sometimes we feel some heart diseases because it could be a physiological aspect of our uh, personal or daily life when we got any strains, even heart diseases, stroke, headache, back pains, even though you could face in a acne or high problem, basically. It could be a tough for the female, actually, if you are in very much stress. And another important issue is that if someone actually uh, continue with in dealing with stress, it could be a burnout. Sometimes he or she may withdraw from himself from the psychological aspect, even though lost of confidence, fatigue, frustration. So that would be the potential consequence actually addressed from the earlier researcher. But there have some positive effects as well. Basically, motivation, uh, uh, stress is not always bad. Sometimes the people who are really very much eager to deal with the stress, they could be get motivated that I should take the challenge. I should overcome this one. So that could be a positive thing, even though it could build a resilience and encourage growth, even though it could be a bonding and a part of a meaningful life as well. Sometimes stress is good as well. So it is actually not my word, rather the research word, but in most of the cases, you are, you are right that stress is very much, uh, it's just a very much negative effect in our life. So I'm sharing some uh, research actually. Actually the research was doing in me with my another two colleagues, uh, Sanjay Kumar Roy and Azulisham Shanto, who is actually my graduate student now studying in Germany. Actually, we are trying to investigate that how uh, the job stress impact on employee job performance or organizational commitment. Basically, we considered some important construct or important item or variables like work-related stress uh, from the stress part and even acute stress. The stress has different type of classification, but we consider only two things, work-related stress and acute stress. Acute stress is basically the stress that has effect upon the mental balance of an individual. And other two important thing is our job performance or working performance and commitment. And that is basically our proposed model. We actually try to learn that, and the, the research actually uh, uh, what done, done on the bankers, actually bankers in our country during this COVID period. So what actually we try to uh, hypothesize, basically that work-related stress has positive impact or positive impact or significant impact on employee job performance and commitment, and equity stress have a significant impact on employee job performance and commitment, and also 
job performance a positive impact on organizational commitment. But actually, we don't uh, done our work yet, but we have got some interesting results. We're seeing our structure equal equation modeling result. We found that work related stress have a significant impact on job performance, but we don't find anything about our acute stress. So that is important. That work related stress sometimes good. What actually I I told you that it it, it may create some negative thing, but sometimes it creates some uh, job, good job performance as well. On the other hand, work related stress and organizational commitment we don't got anything. So it is it is good for job performance, but in some cases it might not be a good for the commitment of the organization. As well. On the other hand, we don't get any significant relationship between acute stress and employee job performance. But in case of acute stress, sometimes it could uh, create a negative organizational commitment. That is the thing. And the other important thing, as you know, that yes, job performance has a significant impact on organizational commitment. That is basically a very common thing. Actually, earlier research explored. So that is about our thought, actually, in our research. We are working on it. I don't have a very good proper idea till now because we are working on. But first of all, we try to. Uh, check this result and we got this one actually quickly I input this one for this presentation because I don't miss the chance to present this one uh, to for brainstorming to the scholars and also the participants and now I'm sharing some stress management techniques as actually I told you that the potential source could be an individual and organizational source first of all we are responsible to manage our stress uh, being an individual person so what could be the stress management technique yeah, obviously regular exercise is very important like in the early morning, we, we, we could go for the exercise. We could uh, we could uh, walk for one or two hours or even those at least 30 minutes that could uh, refresh our brain and mind. Also, sometimes we feel very happy in the very early morning. It, it could be a very good time or even though after finishing your office, it could be a very important practice as well. Even relaxation is important. Actually, we, we, need, to, we need to sleep, we need to rest. Sometimes we need to spend some time with our family members. Even though in, in case of your relaxation period, I'd like to address that some religious activities uh, could also uh, give you some freedom, like those people are actually engaged or believer in, in some religious aspect, like praying or doing some social work, doing some uh, social responsibility can also reduce stress as well. A time management, most of our stress actually uh, pays for our uh, lack of time management knowledge. So we have to complete our work during our stipulated time. And then we need a support group. Like uh, even though me personal being, I am also a family member. So all my all of my all the family members like my parents, my wife, my children, all are in a group. If the group member has not a proper coordination, then that could be actually increase the stress. So we need a very good strong group whatever we are working in an organization or whatever we are in a family member. So supporting group is very important here. So that is basically the thing actually. So sometimes we can take uh, therapy, spa, exercise, uh, some important hobbies like games, meditation, yoga, nature, time management, music, that means uh, visiting or discussion could be work at some time as well. And yeah, organization actually uh, partly or even in many cases are also responsible for our stress as well because we need to work because we need to lead our family member we need to earn so in some cases we have to affiliate with our organization so yes organization are partly responsible for stress and organization also should bear some cost of stress related pain so each and every organization should start or should willness to arrange a stress management program that could be helpful and also help the employee to get more motivation and what could be the stress management program for the organization? Yes, that could be, it could be a job redesign, job, job negotiation, some important and interesting goal setting, social support system, team working, or even though the organization can uh, organize such type of webinar also can reduce the stress as well. What actually I, I really try to thanks to the Mirai Nika University and also Paro University for this organization, because it, it, it will also work to uh, reduce our stress as well. And, and sometimes they can organize some picnic program or other thing that could also work this way. So forget about the stress. Now I share that uh, way to success in case of stress or even over the stress. There is a tentative from me, like you have to try. And second one, try again if you fail. The third one, try once more. And fourth time, try a little differently. Uh, if you fail today, then not testify, try to again tomorrow when you are not working on the time, then try to ask help for others to support yourself. 
even though if it not work then try to find someone who has done it yet to get some experience as well if again it not work then you have to do things that try to fix which one is not working and try to explain which one is working and the last suggestion is keep trying the john cena actually told we know that wrestler john cena never give up so keep trying until you succeed so that could be a great way to manage or deal stress so that is the reference actually i taken for my presentation and this is about my professional links and uh, has, uh, sharing my linkedin profile and email if you are really interested to write me you can take this one to write me uh, thank you so much uh, if you have any question or queries that is all about from my part thank you so much ma'am and thank you all the participants thank you so much uh, for your tips the best part is to do uh, regular exercise and keep note of what we are eating and the best part what you talked about is the family support when we are with our family and definitely we can be away from all sort of stress thank you so much sir for this thank thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you all <laughs>